Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back, Plant Abundance here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about this stuff here, Sluggo Plus. First off, let me say that over the years um, that I've been gardening, I've always tried to keep things as natural as possible and stay away from products like this to deal with imbalances in the garden. And I've had good luck with that. But uh, I've also mentioned in the past that I'm not stuck on being perfect about anything when it comes to gardening I want to keep it as organic and natural as possible but if things become too much out of balance then you know I as part of nature need to step in and remedy a situation and an issue that I've been having over the past few years is an onslaught of pill bugs and I actually created the imbalance myself by importing in hundreds of yards of wood chips onto the property that's a great thing but it also brings in some of these garden buddies you would call them as they're helping to break down some of the organic decomposing materials that are here and that's the pill bug so I've been dealing with an onslaught of pill bugs for several years if I told you how many plants I've lost to pill bugs over the last seven years uh, you wouldn't believe it but uh, I kept justifying it saying that well uh, I'm gonna allow nature you know 50% of what I grow and uh, without making it a big deal and I stuck to that for years but at this point of the game you know when I put in my time and my effort into growing something and then I watch it just get mowed down by these pill bugs I can't do that anymore you know and of course the overall objective the long-term objective is to have a balanced ecosystem here where any imbalances like too many pill bugs will bring in another predator or some other um, balancing act that nature will create in order to remedy the situation but uh, as it stands right now I've had enough <laughs> so I recently made a video sharing with you how to put plastic cups over your plants and protect them from pill bugs and that has worked hundred percent the only issue I've had with it is uh, the labor involved with me having to replace the cups time and time again is my chickens look at them as targets for one and they love to knock the cups over off the plant and scatter the chips around so it's just not something that's going to work for me long term on the scale of gardening that I'm doing if I just had one or two raised beds and that was my garden cup method would be just fine on this scale and with the amount of wood chips out here I had to come up with something else and uh, actually I first really started looking into this product after posting that video of creating those little cup protectors for plants. Um, somebody had commented about using the Sluggo Plus, so I looked it up. And I didn't know this, but this is actually OMRI certified, which means it's been approved through the Organic Materials Review Institute. And this is for organic gardening. Now, the active ingredients in this Sluggo Plus is iron phosphate and spinosad. Now when you use the product as directed, it's been deemed safe to use with no harm or risk to any wildlife like birds or lizards or anything else coming around or even your pets. So, but the key is that you actually follow the directions. If you had too much in a particular area and a certain mammal or you know, reptile or something ate too much of it, then that could potentially cause a problem. So be aware of that, but Basically, uh, iron phosphate, iron is a nutrient to plants and it's something that's naturally found in the soil. And so whatever actually doesn't get eaten by the pill bugs or snails and slugs. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you folks watching this probably have more of a snail and slug problem than you do a pill bug issue. Mine's the opposite. It's pill bugs, no snails, no slugs. But whatever doesn't get eaten by those pests ends up just feeding the soil and becoming fertilizer for the plants. So and it's not toxic at all to the soil or the water table. And spinosad is a naturally occurring soil bacterium. So again, another active ingredient. It's just gonna break down and become part of the soil structure. It breaks down quickly as well. Um, either sunlight exposure or the soil microorganisms are gonna break this stuff down. So six months after applying it, there's gonna be no trace of it left in your garden. So let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. They're just little pellets, and you just sprinkle this around your plants. It's that simple. And this stuff is safe to put around your edibles. So your fruit trees, berry shrubs, vegetables, you can put this around your ornamentals. So like here, you can see I got a little dahlia popping up. And it's 
that's about all I need. And these pellets do need to get watered, so after you apply it, water the plant and then just continue to water as you would usually. Here's another little dahlia coming up. And I have seen wild birds come and swoop down and peck at it and try to eat it. And it's not going to hurt them, but if you don't want to waste product, then you're going to want to cover it up with some bird netting or some chicken wire or something like that. My chickens as well have come out, scratched around and pecked and eaten it and no ill effects. So that's been my experience. So now let me share with you some results that I've been getting. So here is a patch of amaranth and I put these out just little seedlings. They were a couple inches tall. Um, that I had grown in Jiffy pellets. And if I had ever tried to do something like this in the past, within a couple days, these would all be eaten to the stem and would all be dead. There's not a single leaf with any damage of any kind. And all I did was sprinkle some of that Sluggo Plus around here. And here's another example. If you've been watching, then you probably recall me talking about this in the past, but these are my longevity spinach plants that have overwintered and are now beginning to sprout out new growth at the base. And before applying the Sluggo Plus, every time a little sprout would pop up, it'd get eaten to the nub. And if this happens enough times, you lose the plant. I've lost many a plant because of this issue. So now I'm looking at the plants and all the different sprouts coming up, even the little one back here, there's no damage whatsoever. You can see some Sluggo Plus around here. I've had to apply it a couple different times over the course of the last week and a half. We got more sprouts on this plant. Nothing, no signs of anything being eaten at all. This plant as well. Now, if you come over here, here's another longevity spinach plant that I did not treat at all. And, well, what do you know? Here's a pill bug <laughs> right here. So thanks for proving my point, Mr. Pillbug. There's not a single sprout coming up from this plant. And so this is gonna die back and I'm gonna lose that plant. Now over here, this is something else I wanna share with you. Growing up, and it's gonna be growing up this trellis soon, are beans and peas that I just scattered back here. I have not had success growing beans and peas for the last three years with or very limited success, I'll say, like a couple plants surviving, losing hundreds. And the reason being, pill bugs. Well, every single plant I seeded over here that sprouted up is now growing up. So the only thing I did different is after I scattered the seeds, I sprinkled some Sluggo Plus. So I don't mean to sound like I'm promoting the product. That's not what this is about. What this is about is helping you guys because I know it can be really tough, you know, trying to be the perfect gardener. But here's what I want to say. I don't plan on using Sluggo Plus every year now. But to have it as part of my arsenal, to apply it to different patches that I may have just seeded or transferred some seedlings to, this is a technique I'm gonna to continue to employ at least as long as I continue to import wood chips or have an abundance of other mulches on the ground that are habitat for these pill bugs. Because, you know, I'm not trying to eradicate the pill bug. The pill bug, like I mentioned, is a garden buddy and it's there to help break down this organic material. So, you know, Pill bugs are great. The problem is, is when they eat my plants. And so they're mainly composters though. They want to break down decaying matter. So with that being said, uh, by just applying it certain little patches in my garden, <laughs> there's probably millions of pill bugs out here that are still surviving. I'm just protecting my patches of plants. And once the plants get a little bit grown up, so we're talking, you know, six inches or so, they're usually fine from that point on. There's no chance of losing the plant and I don't need to keep applying the Sluggo. It's just for the smallest seedlings and I just seeded a bit. But I say, don't be afraid to try new things if you're having some issues. Of course, uh, do your best to keep it organic and always keep it natural as much as you can. Uh, but remember, you're part of nature and if there's a solution that you can help employ to take care of any imbalances and get your garden on the right track, go ahead and do that. And here's another show of success. I planted this corn out in this garden bed, which prior to putting the corn out here, I had seeded. I had four different rows of vegetables that I had seeded. Everything sprouted, was growing up. 
just got mowed down by the pill bugs, completely dead, other than a little patch of kale that remained over in that left corner there. So now I've got all my corn surviving, no issues whatsoever. Really happy about that. Here's an example of the cup having worked its magic. I'm gonna leave it on a little bit longer, but another benefit was the white interior of this plastic cup. Also helped to reflect light onto the plant, uh, especially in this earlier part of the year. I think that was helpful in getting the plant moving. You can see this one got pushed over a little bit, but still protected. But here's when it doesn't work. Here's my cup, here's my plant. They're still surviving until it got eaten a little bit. I gotta keep replacing these cups because my chickens keep knocking them over. And this one the chickens couldn't get to. <laughs> Doing excellent. Another one. So this is the fastest way in the world to plant out a garden. All you need to do is get yourself some plant starts, locate an area of the yard, focus on it, and repeat after me. Plants grow, plants grow, let your beauty show. What that? While I was out here doing a little bit of evening overhead watering by hand, look what I just noticed. Oh yeah! Wine cap mushrooms. And you know what's eating these guys? You guessed it. These little pill bugs are eating my mushrooms. Here comes another one, ready to feast. I have a little fencing laying over this patch. I didn't want the chickens scratching through here. I'm gonna harvest this. One way to harvest is to grab the mushroom right at the base and twist. Just like that. I think I'll have this with some of my backyard chicken eggs in the morning. Oh, look at all that mycelium on the roots of that grass. There's mushrooms coming up everywhere. Right here, here, got a little patch. There's a couple coming up here. One here, 